2020-21 school year. Uh, if you'll notice, I do have on a mask and we are requiring all of our students to wear a mask following our dress code, which means that um, anything that you were not allowed to wear on a shirt that um, would cause any kind of tension is not allowed to be worn on a mask. So please make sure that you have a mask handy. If not, we do have extra masks for all of our students. The following video will show some of the guidelines that our students will follow this year with all of the new um, ordinances that have been put upon us that we will do to try to keep our students as safe as possible. Gaston has gone above and beyond to make sure that our students are taken care of and we hope to have a very productive school year. Hello students, real quick we're going to show you a video on how to get in your locker and how we'll transition to our lockers uh, with the color code system. Each locker has a sticker on it. We've got the lockers set up with three different colors. We've got a red dot, orange dot, and a green dot. When it's time for transition and we dismiss in order to stay with the COVID guidelines and try to keep social distancing in mind, we will dismiss each color at a separate time. That way we can do the proper distancing that's required, but try our best to keep everybody safe. Obviously, we'll be wearing our mask and the way the flow is set up for students to travel up and down the hallways, which is in another video. But what we'll do is we'll dismiss transition time. Red uh, lockers need to dismiss. They'll come in an orderly fashion, keeping social distancing in mind. They'll come to their locker, get their stuff, go to where they need to go. Then we'll dismiss the orange lockers and the green lockers. We're going to try to train, take this week to train our students to understand all the rules and the rituals just to keep safe in the COVID compliances. At this time, Ms. Knight is going to show you how to get in your locker. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to open your lockers. You're going to have three, a series of three numbers that will serve as your code for your locker. You're going to want to begin by turning the dial to the right three complete times before going to your first number. So for my locker, my first number is eight. So I'm going to make sure I spin it three times. I'm going to go to eight. Then my second number is 28. So when I'm going to spin the dial to the left, I'm going to need to make sure that I pass the eight before going to the 28. And then you have one more turn to your right, and that will be your third number. And my third number is 26. So go here and open your lockers. Real quick, I wanna go over a few uh, important factors in regards to cleaning. Every morning, our custodial staff will be cleaning the school from top to bottom, surfaces, lockers, uh, the uh, door handles, all the way down to desk. Um, third cleaning. Even after school is dismissed and students aren't here, they'll go through another cleaning ritual process. That's just to ensure that the students are safe. Uh, the cleaning uh, uh, solutions they're using are safe and it kills the COVID. Another thing that the board has purchased is called an I-Wave. There's one in every classroom. It's through the air unit filtration system. It basically uh, polarizes the air in a safe way and it kills various forms of viruses, most especially the, uh, the COVID. So that's another uh, a defense mechanism that's put into place. We also have the hallways set up where we can keep the flow of traffic going in one direction. And basically what we're doing is we're having the students walk somewhat in an orderly fashion in line. They don't have to basically be in line like they did in the elementary school, but we try to keep that distance factor where they're at least six feet apart and their right shoulder is always towards the wall and the flow of traffic is going in one direction to the best of their ability to help uh, prevent any uh, groups congregating together just to keep it safe. Obviously, we have our mask as well. We're going to be encouraging all the uh, ways to help protect yourself and others. You know, uh, we've got uh, signage up all throughout the school talking about how to wash your hands all the way from if you have to cough or whatever, how the proper way is to do that in your, your arm. So um, plenty of information for the students as well as for the parents. And uh, we just wanted to ensure the parents that we're doing everything possible to make sure the school is safe, clean, and a healthy environment. 
One other thing I want to go over real quick is how we'll be cleaning the lockers. Obviously, every day and every day after school, we'll be wiping the lockers down thoroughly with the appropriate cleaning solution that kills the COVID. That's important. But on Fridays, we're going to do a deep cleaning. That's where the students are required to take everything home on Friday. The lockers will stay open and we will fog the lockers with the appropriate cleaning solution that kills the COVID as well as wipe it down. Just to ensure that when they come back Monday, the lockers are uh, pro properly cleaned and safe for a student's return. And that's just going to be a common ritual. So we just want to ensure the parents and the student that we're doing everything possible to make sure the school environment is safe, clean, and honestly, the best that we can is COVID free. Right quick, we're just gonna show you the flow of the hallway. Uh, basically, we're gonna to try to keep, uh, like I said earlier, not so much an elementary style single file line. It's gonna be more of a relaxed uh, method of trying to keep in one direction, depending which side of the hall you're on, and trying our best to keep you about six feet apart. So right quick, we're just gonna show you pretty much how it's gonna look in the hallways daily the best we can. Teachers will be in the center. Uh, kind of monitoring, trying to train the, the students the first week of the rules and rituals uh, for our safety uh, measures. So right quick, they'll just walk down the hallway like so. They'll go to their designated lockers. Okay, stop guys. In the event that a student must pass, you know, our thinking is, if there's somebody that's slow in front, they'll just walk around like so. So that's just kind of the setup, how it's gonna be. We're gonna have arrows on the floor to help keep the flow of traffic and keep your, your children safe. Another important factor is um, sometimes parents have to check their students out throughout the day uh, in the event that there's a doctor's appointment or family emergency. Um, we do have a procedure in place for that. Obviously, you'll come through the front door. Uh, we'll, uh, we have areas marked for you to uh, be six, six feet apart, the best of your ability in regards to social distancing. And we do ask you to wear your mask when you come into the facility just for safety reasons. Um, when we call students out of the classroom, they'll obviously follow the traffic flow, come to the office, they'll come to the back, and what we do is we always do a temperature check before they come into the uh, office area um, because there's a lot of traffic in the office and we really got to monitor and, and, and maintain that. Um, we do have a, our nurses set up for an isolation station uh, as well uh, in the event that a student gets sick or whatever. Uh, we, we have procedures set up for that. One other thing is um, our goal is to make sure we pump as much information out to you as possible. I know a lot of parents are signed up for the Remind uh, where they receive text messages and emails, but there's some parents that haven't done that yet. Make sure if you need information, you can either A, call the school, uh, Gaston High School, the front office at 547-8828, or you can email myself, Richard Tant, or Miss George, and all that information is on our webpage. So if you need any information, make sure you visit our school webpage for that information.